Perfect. Thank you, Ken Corla. Minister, as you know, the latest uh, homeless figures from your own department show the highest ever uh, levels of adults and children and pensioners in Department of Housing funded emergency accommodation. And this is only a, a portion of the total number of people who are in state or non-state funded emergency accommodation. All of the homeless service providers uh, in local authorities uh, and in the voluntary sector that both you and I talked to are telling us those numbers are set to increase. My question is, do you have any plans to take any additional new uh, uh, or, or innovative measures to try and stop the rise and also to reduce the length of time those adults, children and pensioners are spending in emergency accommodation? Minister. Uh, thanks, Deputy Brim, for your question. Look, the continuing increase in numbers accessing emergency accommodation is of serious concern to, uh, for me and for the government, and we're doing everything in our power uh, to tackle this problem, both by increasing housing supply, which is going to increase substantially this year, and investing in homeless pr uh, prevention. And yesterday we've allocated 215 million, uh, a substantial increase in the previous year in relation to supports for those who are homeless. I've introduced further measures to increase supply, including the new voids program, about 2,450 voids we'll bring back in this year, with an emphasis on quick turnaround and reletting, the pilot expansion of the repair and lease scheme, reinstatement of the delegated sanction for local authorities and social housing acquisitions. And if I could specifically mention that, this account, Corla, that every local authority uh, has been given the delegated uh, power to purchase homes that come on the market with, with a tenant in situ that's a HAP or a RAS tenant. And I want to be really, really clear, they do not need to come back to me for approval, uh, and they need to purchase them. And that is a very active measure that's out there uh, for, to prevent people who've been issued with notice to quit and who are on our housing transfer waiting list. And to do that, and I'm encouraging and I've directed local authorities to do that, and I'll be further reinforcing uh, that measure on the 13th of, of October when I have the housing summits directly myself with the chief executives of every local authority in the country and indeed the, the, um, the directors of services. What I can say since I brought that measure in too is that we've seen over 300 new homes come in that have been purchased or we've entered into contracts with or are entering into contracts to purchase homes with tenants in situ. And that is a measure that we are bringing in whilst we're increasing uh, the social housing supply. And as I've said earlier in my responses, that we will deliver more new build social homes this year um, than has been done in any year in the history of the state. So the activation and the prevention measure through uh, purchasing and acquiring homes with tenants in situ is one that is taking hold now, and I want local authorities to do it. Very briefly, Deputy O'Brien. Minister, it's highly likely that the homeless numbers will reach 11,000 before uh, winter is out, and I would urge you to reconsider your opposition to a temporary ban on evictions as I've just recently introduced in Scotland. Uh, I would ask you to go further on tenant in situ. Some local authorities aren't taking your advice, and in fact, some local authorities are insisting that people must be on the housing list for six, eight, nine, or ten years before tenant in situ. I urge you to issue a circular to say where a household is imminently at risk of homelessness purchase uh, the property. What I will say is there was nothing in the budget, nothing at all in terms of new homeless interventions to stop the immediate rise. Please do more uh, on the tenant in situ okay. uh, and please consider an emergency ban on evictions and homelessness briefly, uh, over very winter. Briefly, I'm, very meeting, briefly. I'm meeting every director of housing in the country and the chief executives on the 13th of October have reinforced the message about purchase with tenant in situ. I did note in your alternative budget uh, as well that you made no pr specific provision for any increase in uh, in, 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 in no no for any increase in Please, funding will you let for any answer. increase in funding will for you any let the increase answer? for any you've been trying to talk over me all morning on because you don't like the answers you're getting because you do not like the truth the reality of it is in the in the Sinn Féin alternative budget no provision no specific provision no specific provision for homeless services or emer or homeless emergency services so own oh, fantasy stuff. Your numbers just don't add up. None of them do. None of them do. None of them do. No provision. No provision for homeless services or emergency services. Well, that's it. Best, 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 best to look, Joe. Best to look. Because. Uh, 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 you made listen, no provision. Listen. No provision for Deputy, homeless services at please. all in your alternative budget. You're letting budget. yourself down. None. No. And you've been hating like this Minister, all morning. All morning. Should, 